Hey guys, so it looks like the brown Santa showed up today. UPS brought me these new Supernova V4 LED fog light bulbs. I'm going to be putting these in the Jeep Wrangler JL because everybody knows that those PSX24 or 2504, whatever you want to call them, the bulbs they've been using in the Jeep Wrangler for fog lights for the last several years are absolutely terrible. Might as well not even have them on there. So the guys at Headlight Revolution, they seem to have the most available information on bulbs. They have some great videos on their YouTube channel. Uh, lots of good information from those guys, and they recommended these for the JL Wrangler. So today we're going to pop those in, and we're going to check these out and see how they work. All right, so quickly here, just a little unboxing video. Uh, when you get these bulbs, of course, these are brand new. They haven't been out very long, but just like the other video where I showed you how I did the headlights, uh, these are very similar in that you've got the bulb itself. These have a fan built into the back of them, okay? So the cooling fins and the fan are all self-contained on the bulb. And then you have this driver here that you plug into all that. And then, of course, your connector should match up uh, perfectly to your particular vehicle or, you know, to the type of bulb that you're using. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the thing is on the Wrangler, which I'll show you here in just a minute, uh, especially on the sport model, these are going to be a little bit more difficult to get to. So I'll kind of walk you through the steps on how to do that. All right. So the thing about the JL that is different from the JK, obviously the JK fog lights were over here in the center of the bumper. And they had this panel here that you could very easily remove and then you could get your hand down in there and access the fog light bulbs very, very easily. But on the JL Wrangler, completely different. Now this is a sport model. They do have a metal bumper option, which is going to be different. But this is a sport model with the standard plastic bumper. And you can see this bumper head or whatever you want to call it here, this trim piece. I don't know if this is for fuel economy or safety standards or what. But it's this plastic piece they added to the JL that actually covers up the fog light housings on the back here. So in order to remove that to get to the fog lights, the easiest thing I've found to do is to move the tire. See how I've turned the steering wheel this direction so the tire is kind of out of the way. And then you're going to need a trim tool because there's a whole lot of these plastic clips up in there. And I think that the camera's not focusing, so I apologize. But there's several of these up in there. And then you're also going to need an eighth inch ratchet uh, with a seven millimeter socket on it, okay? So with the wheel turned, you should be able to get up in here. And you can see how those clips, see there's one there, they're all the way down through there. Uh, I don't think you have to take them all out unless you want to remove this air dam. The only one of those I took out is right here on the bottom because it looks like it runs up into the back of that filler cap. So I just took my trim tool, went up in here, popped that one out. And then you can see there's a screw here and there. There's uh, about six of those, I think. There's some up on top there. So you just take your seven millimeter socket and run those out. And then this uh, panel, this whole panel should pop off and reveal the fog light. Alright, so I got one, two, three, four, five, let's see, there's six, and then there's one up under here, if I can get this camera to focus. This is a tricky one that I didn't see at first. You got to take that one out too. So that makes a total of seven, seven millimeter bolts that have to come out. Plus that little plastic clip right there. And then this whole thing should pop off. All right, so I've run into a little bit of an issue. And the issue is that my ratchet and socket does not have room to get up in here and get that one grab it here and show you see there's not enough space to back it out <laughs> it won't fit and I don't have a seven millimeter wrench smallest thing I've got is an eight millimeter so if I had an if I had a seven millimeter wrench I could run that out and I could be done but because I don't 
it looks like I'm gonna have to take this whole air dam off which means I gotta take all these plastic clips right here out and then there's also uh, where to go right there there's also a bolt here and a bolt over here on this side so that's probably gonna add another five minutes to this job dag on it <laughs> But like I said, if you had a seven millimeter wrench, you could just run that thing out and it'd be real quick and easy. So, oh well, better get to it. All right guys, so there's the air dam. Those two bolts were eight millimeter, not seven. So you gotta have an eight millimeter socket to get that bolt and then that bolt over there. And then you just take your trim tool and pop those plastic clips out and this whole thing will just fall down out of here. Get that out of the way and now Boy, it's ugly up under there without that on there. But now I've got plenty of room to finish running that 7mm out so I can get to my fog light. Alright, so that added uh, 2 or 3 more minutes to the job. But I've only got about 10 minutes invested so far. And I realize that you don't have to take this whole thing off just to get to the light. There's your fog light right back there. So you can leave that last bolt that I was working on dangling if you want. Got plenty of space now. So there you, do. there you go, that's how you do it. Not very bad at all. Some of the guys on the forums said that they spent a couple of hours doing this, but man, I started 10 minutes ago and I'm already to this side. The other side will be pretty easy now since I got that air dam out of the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and uh, pop that halogen bulb out, put my LED bulb in there and find a place to zip tie my um, driver to looks like I may be able to lay it right in here maybe and zip tie to one of those holes or we'll figure something out here shouldn't be too bad be back in a moment all right this little daggone this thing will not focus today this little bulb right here was a little tricky but not too bad it's just the reason it was tricky because it was really tight in there and I didn't want to break it but basically you just squeeze it squeeze and it's got those little locking tabs so once you squeeze and hold, you can just pull it straight out. But this one was pretty tight, and like I said, I was afraid of breaking it, so that's why it had the appearance of being tricky. But all right, now we're gonna get these V4 bulbs and pop them in and uh, finish this up. All right, so we've got the V4 bulbs installed, got the wiring harness connected, and I've got the driver zip tied in the, out of the way. So now we can put this back on and button it all back up and we should be ready to do the other side. And while I've got one side done and the other one not done, I thought I would show you the difference. This first supernova bulb comes in yellow, which is like a 3000K color temperature. You can also get it in the cool white, 6500K I think it is. I thought about doing that to match the headlights, but those guys at Headlight Revolution recommended I do the yellow for the fogs. And you can see it is significantly brighter than the stock halogen bulb over on the passenger side. So, big, big difference there. And as far as the color temperature goes, this should be better for cutting through the rain and snow and fog. So, let's do the other side. All right, so both sides are done now. These things right here, like I mentioned, have seven screws in them. And then you've got eight of those plastic clips that go underneath the bottom for the air dam. Now, some of those plastic clips can be a little bit tricky, you know, the way these things work. You've got this piece right here. Man, this thing just having trouble getting this to focus today. And you can see it just slides down in there. So you want to pull that first top part up. And then you can pop that back up in there and close it all back up together. So they're a little bit tricky, but not too bad. I think I spent about an hour total on this job and got both bulbs in. And uh, they're really, really bright. So this should be a really awesome addition to the front of the JL, especially with winter coming on. It's always dark, foggy, rainy, snowing. So maybe those yellow LEDs will cut through that and give me some better visibility out here. All right, cool. So I got this project done and I'm gonna button everything up, put the finishing touches on it 
and get this thing back in the garage because we got some rain coming. So you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching.